Every student at BMCC receives a student email address. To access that address, you can go to our website, www.bmcc.edu, and scroll down until you see the student email button here. When you click the button, it will bring you to Gmail, which is what our emails are through. Um, if there's already an account on the computer or you already have a personal Gmail account, um, you might have to sign in with a different account. You'll click Add Account and you'll receive this window. Those of you who do not have a personal Gmail or who have, are on a computer that has never had to log in, it will come up like this your first time. So now you need to enter in your full email address. Your email address should be the first initial of your first name, your full last name, and the last four of your student number. So I'm going to use a student called Example Student. So the first initial of the first name, E for example, the full last name, which I'm using student, and the last four of your student number. You're also going to add the domain, which is at student.bmcc.edu. You'll need that full address in there to log in. You're going to click Next. Now you enter your password. If this is the first time you've ever logged into your password, the default is capital BMCC, lowercase Moodle, M-O-O-G-L-E, 09. If you're on a public computer, make sure you do not click this Stay Logged In. Click Sign In. Now Google will ask you to accept their terms of service. Um, feel free to read this and click Accept. Now since it's my first time logging in, I will have to create my own password. You'll need to enter in your password twice and click Change Password. You can feel free to add your uh, cell phone number as a recovery or another email. And now you are logged in. Here you may see emails from your teachers if you're on campus, from administration, um, from other people as well. Also notice that you have access to Google Drive, which is a storage service, uh, Google Calendar, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Check them out.